all the guys so now let's create the setup but before that let's uh, select this box i cannot select it i have to uncheck this button and now i can select the package and here in the modifier tab go to modifiers add modifier and say solidify to make it a bit thick like this maybe this is too thick so i will go here and say 0 0.007 and yes this is much better and apply this solidify very good because this box needs some thickness it was too thin all right so let's do the setup to do the setup i will create a plane shift a mesh plane and make it big go in edit mode and select these two vertex zoom out e z bring it up around here now select these two vertex and say ctrl b this time so not ctrl shift b ctrl b because we want to bevel the edge and scroll your mouse button to create more of these loops like this i have i think five or six loops doesn't matter too much just click and that's it now go in object mode say smooth okay and now if you go here to render mode you don't see anything because you don't have light so first let's go here to render properties and change from ev render engine ev into cycles and here in the device change from cpu to gpu it's gonna be much better okay but we still don't have any light so this looks pretty weird so let's create a light press shift a light point now the light is in the noodles press g z bring it up and a little bit on the y axis and a little bit on the x axis and actually i want it the other way here because my camera is gonna be around here yes and uh, actually i think i want i will take the the setup the background and the light and say gz45 like this because i want when i put the camera here to see these noodles from a side like this actually i think i look at it even more like this let's say around minus 36 37 yes this looks good so i just got take this one no actually it doesn't look good i see this we can do it later but i'm just uh, trying to position this so when i do the texture i can see what i'm doing okay let's leave it like this for now we can adjust it more later let's take this light and make it more intense and say here 3000 very much light i know and to the radius we say 20 now it's not enough and we say here 5000 and this is very good now actually somehow it's very good because why i say somehow is because i still need to decrease this radius a bit i think i'll say 18 and bring it more to the front we're gonna see more when uh, the texture we're gonna apply it okay so now we have here 
this I think uh, now we're gonna clean the chopsticks and the, and the support for the chopsticks and after that we're gonna do all the texturing of everything so let's clean the chopsticks and before we do the chopsticks I will see here the background so everything is like named and all right, so let's create a cylinder. Where is the cylinder? Here is the cylinder. Say GY. Let's go to object mode, solid view, I mean. GY. I moved out of the way so that doesn't bother us. Okay, and say G. Shift Z to cancel the Z axis. Make it like this. S Z. Make it taller. I'll make it like this for the moment. And after that, we're gonna resize it to have a good size fit to the package and the noodles. I'll make it a bit taller. S Z. Let's say around this size. I think looks good. Okay. Now I'll go in edit mode and. With face select, I will select only. So with face select, I select only this bottom face, and I say S and make it smaller, but not completely small, because the chopsticks they are still a little thick at the bottom. Okay, and now still in edit mode, I press Ctrl R and create a loop here in the middle, but I don't want to keep it in the middle, so I don't cancel. The moment but I move it up let's say here yes okay and now in this space that I have from the top to the this line that I created I'll press ctrl R and create three more cuts like this and I will also select this one that I created earlier and say SZ and make it a bit like this and now go to face select select this face and this face and say E S and press shift Z to cancel to cancel the Z axis and make it smaller to add some details here at the top of the chopsticks but they are too big I don't like them too much so with those two selected, I'll go now to edge select and select this edge, this edge, and this one, and this one. Not like this. Be very careful what you select. Okay, so this one. So I selected these edges that I have around here and say S, Z, and make it like this. So I have some details there at the top to make it look more interesting. So it's not just a stick. It has some details. Okay, so now let's resize this one. Make it smaller. Say Shift S selection to cursor. So it goes here in the middle where I have the cursor. Arc X. And I say 90, RZ 45, no, RZ minus 90, very good. So I say minus 90 on the Z axis and move it here and press Shift D and move it here. And the, the second one, I will rotate it on the X axis, on the Z axis, R, Z, and move it a bit like this. This is too much, this is good. And take it out of that. R, Z. And just try to position them like this to be with the pointing side more in the same place. Now let's bring them up a little, a little bit 
and press Ctrl J to join them together. Right click, Shade Smooth, and go here to Object Data Properties, Normals, click Auto Smooth, and that's that. R, X, X again. So I press X two times. And now let's bring this a bit like this. Even if it goes inside here, this is what I need. GZ, I make it up a bit. Now let's create the support. I'll use a cube for the support. Shift A, mesh, cube, S, Y, make it bigger and make it smaller overall I move it here and go in edit mode press ctrl R create loop and create multiple loops here I will create Five, no, seven. I'll create seven loops. So to create multiple loops, you scroll your mouse wheel and you'll get these multiple loops. So I scroll my mouse wheel six times. And with the first one that I started with, I have seven in total. And now left click and right click to cancel. And I take the middle one. And I put here proportional editing, S, Z, and make this circle a bit smaller and resize it on the, only on the Z axis, like this. Now let's take this loop at the bottom and this edge. So to select, I press Alt, Shift, and click. Alt, Shift, and click, Alt, Shift, and click, and so on. So all I do is Alt, Shift, click, Alt, Shift, click. And I have one more side here, and that's it. And now press Ctrl B to create a bevel. Oh, before that, go in object mode, Ctrl A, Apply all transforms, go back in edit mode, and now press Ctrl B. And let's decrease this number of cuts on the bevel because we don't need that many. I think I have three. This is enough. Go in object mode, shade smooth, and enable here auto smooth. And this is very good now. Okay, so now let's move this one in place. G, Y, G, X, move it here and move it down. I make sure that here at the bottom, this corner doesn't go too much inside the ground. Just a little bit, because the chopsticks, I can move them more up. It's fine. R, X, X. So I press X two times and move, rotate it a bit like this so they don't go inside here but not too much because keeping in mind that now they are inside here and so I have to move them up so I select the chopsticks G, Z move them up a bit so they don't go inside the ground now here they are in the air so I have to keep doing this for a while R, X, X and rotate it for them to sit. And this is good now. It's fine if it goes a, a little bit. Actually, I think I'll move it up with the support. GZ, I move it up. And now only the chopsticks. GZ, move it up, and that's it. This is good now. Okay, so let's create a camera. Press Shift A. Camera, the camera is down here, move it up, and press N, 
and check this button with camera to view. Now press N again. Press 0 to see what the camera can see. Now when you move around the viewport, the camera will follow you. And this is what we want. We want this camera to follow us. And I'll move it something like this, positioning it. And I think what I want here, take the chopsticks and this support and rotate it a little bit on the Z axis to be more like this and move it on the Y and move it on the X. Also, I think I'll move it to the, both of them to the Y and again to the X. Yes, like this. Very good. So don't forget to deselect this one before anything else. So I, pre I press N to bring this panel out, deselect here camera to view and bring it back. And that's it. This is how you create the setup, the camera, the light, and also the chopsticks and the support.